Hi, this is Paul Juf with IQ Power Tools. I want to take a few minutes today and go a little more in-depth demonstration of the IQ TS244. This is the world's first dry cut tile saw with integrated dust control. Again, that's the world's first dry cut tile saw with integrated dust control. That means there's no water. Cuts completely dry and captures the dust. Some of the features of this machine, it cuts uh, over 24 inches is the rip cut, which means you can cut 18 inch on the diagonal. You can also pass through a full 24 inch piece all the way through on the table. Um, and that's kind of the conventional things of this machine. But what it makes it truly unique is the dust control. This machine has, as I mentioned before, an integrated vacuum system, filter system, and dust containment. So again, that has a vacuum here that engages automatically when you start up the tile saw that sucks the dust down. It goes to a filtration system and then contains the dust down here. I'll show you where that dust ends up. That's your dust and that's your cleanup at the end of the day. Just dump that into a bag, very simple. You do have to clean the filter once before, one, once a day before you empty that tray. And to do that, you spin that handle. That's it. That's all you do. You can see the cut. Cut is very comparable to a wet saw. Some tile chips more, some chips less, but it's you can expect about the same as you would with a wet cutting saw. Also, you notice that when we make that cut, the blade stays very cool. You can actually grab the blade right after you make a cut. And that's because we're integrating the uh, cooling of the vacuum to cool the blade. And that's what keeps the blade nice and cool. Plus, it's specially designed to cut dry. Very important. So you do have to use our blades with the machine. The machine comes with two different blades. This is the combination blade. You see it does have our Q Arbor here. The machine comes with this blade and it's basically we call this the combo blade. So this will cut most of your materials. If you do have a job where you know you're gonna be cutting granite or some really hard porcelain and it's gonna be a big job, we do recommend you get the hard material blade. And this is for cutting a hard material porcelain and granite. So just better for your really hard materials. Let's just take a quick minute and talk about uh, blades and maintenance of the blades and also the, when you can use a dressing stone. There, we have a really good video uh, on our YouTube channel that you can go to that it's very extensive. It actually shows a micro, uh, microscope close up of our, the diamonds and what happens here. But just real quickly, there's diamonds in here that are embedded in a metal matrix. Well, sometimes those diamonds pop out or uh, you know, get glazed over depending on what kind of materials you're cutting and when you're switching back and forth. So it's really good to use a dressing stone. This is our dressing stone, the IQ dressing stone for tile saws, uh, for tile blades. And I'll show you really quickly how to dress that blade. And there's many different techniques. There's really no wrong way to do this, but this is just the way I do it. essentially is sharpening the sharpen the blade it's essentially like brushing your teeth it kind of exposes those diamonds out and lets them go back to cutting uh, but it, it's essential especially when you start cutting lots of different materials and you start seeing the blade is just sparking it's like not cutting that's when you want to get your dressing stone out sharpen the blade back up get it cleaned up and it'll go right back to cutting you want to be able to use a blade and wear this segment all the way out. If your blade stops cutting before this segment is all worn out, you need to have a dressing stone. Expose those diamonds and it'll be good as new. One of the other features that really sets the IQ TS244 apart in the marketplace is the table. The table is very smooth, 
very tight. Does not wiggle at all, even when it's completely extended. So that means you get good, clean, accurate cuts, 24 inches end to end, very accurate table. And we were able to do that because if you look at this table and look how it's built, very strong construction, stainless steel, very heavy duty wheels, you know, all the nice bearings in here. So very good quality construction. Another thing people like is how compact the machine is in a very small footprint. See, we're right here in a bathroom. We can move the saw in because there's no water right here where we're working. Imagine how much time that saved you walking in and out of the house or in and out of the place where you can do cutting. Saves you a ton of time and that saves you money right there. Also, we really spent the time to try to make the saw as portable as possible. So it's very easy. You lock the table, you tip the saw back. push down on this orange button right here, pop the stand up, the extension handle, you pull the lock out, extend the handle, tip it, and you're off to the next job. Moves in and out, nice wheels, goes upstairs, very easy to assemble. Let me put it back together, simply click the stand on, handle down, come over here, and lift straight up saw is ready to go. Less than 30 seconds, you could be making cuts. We do have a number of accessories that go along with the IQ TS 244. Uh, one of them is the miter attachment table. Uh, this is something that attaches. Pull the table out. You extend this table out. And then basically, these pins on here will go into the pins on the table and then you'll kind of square it up. So goes on here. This you can also I recommend people taking off the dust guard. Because that just makes it a little bit easier to push the table through, depending on the type of cut you're making. So so basically you have these clamps on here and if you need to make a 22 degree cut you would have it in that position 45 degree cut you would have in that position so the clamps you see there's the different locations even up here on the fence to uh, install them so if I want to put this clamp in I'm gonna put my piece in place put my clamp in kind of tighten it down They're kind of basically kind of like uh, vice grips here Clamp that into position. I'm going to take my other clamp. Get it back here where it can reach. Adjust it. Clamp that in position. And now you're ready to push your cut through. Again, you want to make sure that's nice and square on the table. So you're getting a good uh, miter, either 22 or 20 or 45 degree. Let's demonstrate the vacuum port uh, adapter here. So it comes in a bag with your different accessories. So let's open up our bag. There's our hose. That's about a 10 foot long hose. Comes with a nozzle, so a spread nozzle, and a narrow nozzle. These are really nice for cleaning out grout joints and just kind of basic clean up around the uh, the job, maybe a bathroom or shower you're working on. Here's the critical part. This is, goes basically on the nozzle down here. And you want to see this end clips over the end of the nozzle. So first of all, we want to lift the head. That goes up. Take this part and slide it right Get 
get it lined up with the blade, drop it on here, and you want to push that forward to where it clips over this back side and the front side is dropping down. And then you want to push this down. This little tab catches right here. And now you can lock your head down and you've just converted this vacuum with a port here. Now that takes our hose. You just push the hose on to the port. And now you have a little vacuum. So when you turn on the machine, the nozzles basically just install like that, each one, depending on what you need. There you go, and now you can go clean up your grout joints or clean up around uh, whatever your little work area, clean up the machine if you want. Just a little handy additional item. And here's your extension table. You see the fence is on this side right now, but it makes a nice little carry handle. So to take the fence off, you pop this clamp off this side, that one here, and you kind of set this aside. Take the extension table and put it on. This ruler on this side with the larger hole you want towards yourself. So you'll line this up, push down on this tab until it lines up with the fence. See how that pops right over the fence? And then you wanna make sure this drops back down because that locks the table on. And then you'll see that the slot is in the right position as well. So now you can push the head down, lock it. Always remember to tighten your thumb screw there. And now you've converted, you got this wide area to use the, the machine like a table saw. You're gonna be pushing the material through. So what I wanna do, take my fence and decide what size cut do I wanna make. And you see there's a scale on each side and those are calibrated. So if you line this up to two inches on one side and you lock that in, Come here to our two inches on this side. Lock that in, and now we can make a two inch strip cut here. And again, that could be four feet long, however you want, for a, like a plank or whatever. So we'll just take a two foot piece and make a quick cut for you so you can see how it works. Again, it takes a little getting used to because it's a little different, but allows you to strip out those cuts. And again, it could be a four foot long cut or whatever you need to. So it makes the saw much more versatile. So again, we hope you uh, enjoyed the information we're sharing here. We encourage you guys, if you have more questions, please send them to us or better yet, go out and see a dealer that has one of these things sitting on the floor. Make a cut yourself, convince yourself. That's what I would encourage you to do. But once you start using this machine, able to set up right inside, close to where you're working, you start saving that money, you're gonna recognize that this machine in less than 90 days is gonna pay for itself. And then after that, you're putting that money in your pocket. So encourage you guys to do the investigation, figure out how this saw can work for you. And you know, be a craftsman, use it and build amazing things. So from IQ, we appreciate your attention and please keep the questions coming.